Hello and welcome to the Scatterable channel. And today we're gonna to be checking out yet another pre-built, this time from ABS Computers. And you know what, this is kinda, I guess, a little bit weird, but they didn't tell me much about this system. I don't even know what it looks like, but here's the thing, it's not even out yet. This is a brand new pre-built that ABS is working on that they don't even have a name for yet. And in fact, you guys have a chance of actually naming this computer, which I'll talk about more later in the video. But more or less, they're holding a competition, kind of giveaway style thing, but let's get back to the unboxing. What I do know is that this uses a CPU and GPU from the same hardware company. So that already narrows it down to two options. This is in a deep cool case. Good, good, I like that. You love to see it. This is in the CH560. Okay, that's a great case. Okay, ABS, show me what you got. I've checked out many brands before that are supposedly good values for pre-built computers, but a lot of them I feel like make sacrifices. So ABS, what's the best you got for this? Oh, okay. Let's open this up. Oh, this is the most frustrating pre-built I have ever unboxed. That makes me feel better. Ooh, okay. ABS, AKA Advanced Battle Stations. Welcome to the ABS community. Pretty nice. And what about this? Is this a, ooh, 30 day return window for any of their computers? Cool. You know what, this case is so cool. We don't even need to unscrew the side panel. We can just take it off with magnets. And all right, I, I want to know, ABS, is this what I think it is? Take off the pink piece. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm happy to show off this new ABS pre-built gaming PC that doesn't have a name, but I can tell you the specifications of it. So for the processor, you're given an i5 13600K, and for the graphics card, this is an Intel Arc A750 limited edition. This is the cool looking one, which is what I was hoping for, and fortunately, that is the case. No pun intended. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Look at this. Number one, cable management. But number two, this is using an ASUS Tough 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. And this is actually one of the best 80 plus bronze power supplies you can get on the market. And on the PSU tier list, it's one of the highest ranking ones as well. This is actually a very good power supply to see in a pre-built. I was not expecting that. So far ABS, my initial impressions are good on your untitled pre-built gaming PC that once again, I'm gonna let the community vote on the name for. Oh, but this deep cool case is such a good pick. Look at that side panel. Man, that is so neat. Let's go ahead and turn on the system. I think it'd be really hilarious to, you know, get this all the way over here and for it to not work. Okay, that's good. Oh, I love, I adore this deep cool case. Oh, deep cool makes some great PC cases. And okay, it boots up. That was quick. I can hear the AIO, which is an EK Fluids AIO. So ABS is definitely not skimping out on the quality of water cooler you're using. I kind of want to know how much this costs though. That's one thing ABS hasn't done. They haven't told me how much this pre-built costs. If I had to guess, it's probably around a thousand bucks, but by how much is the real question. I want to see though, do we have to do a full window setup or is it already going to be set up for us? Ooh. Okay, we do have to do a full window setup. We'll cut back to you guys later. All right, I've spent the last few minutes getting everything set up and now I can finally tell you all the specs of this computer because we know what's in it now since I've turned it on and I can finally talk about the giveaway that's gonna be happening with this ABS computer. So as you can tell, this is running an Intel Arc graphics card, which is the main calling card of this pre-built. It is none other, again, than the Arc A750, eight gigabytes of VRAM, 256-bit memory bus, can do ray tracing, can utilize Intel XESS upscaling for more frames per seconds, and once again comes with that next generation AV1 codec for better hardware acceleration for video editing and better transcoding for your streams or gameplay. Then for the processor, this is coming with an Intel Core i5 13600K, so that's gonna be great for gaming and also for productivity as well because all of those e-cores means in total you're technically getting a 20 core processor. 
And this is the K model and it's on a Z790 motherboard from MSI. So with that 360 millimeter AIO from EK, if you wanted, you could overclock that i5, which in my opinion is already running at a really high clock speed, but you got the option to. And this is coming with a one terabyte M.2 SSD. That is fine. 32 gigabytes of 6,000 megahertz DDR5 memory. Once again, that high quality 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply from ASUS from their tough lineup of power supplies all housed in the Deepcool CH560. So we're gonna get soon into the gameplay section if you guys wanna see the performance possible in this unnamed ABS pre-built computer because once again, ABS wants you guys to name this computer, so we'll have a huge voting system for that. And on top of that, we are also giving away this exact pre-built you see here to one of you who are watching this video, and all of that can be found in the description below, along with the Intel Gamer Days sale. If you wanna purchase any pre-builts, laptops, or components from Intel, or anything that's been using Intel components that is gonna be happening from late August into early September for 11 days. And there you can take advantage of some really awesome deals. So once again, all of that can be found in the description below. But with all of this set up, let's go ahead and show you guys the performance. All right, we are here on Forza Horizon 5. We are trying out multiplayer on this ABS pre-built gaming PC. We are running the game at high settings, 1440p. FPS meter is on the top left. And I'm gonna see if I can win this race. Because I feel like my car is well set up for this track, actually. Just as long as the rear end is in check, we can do this. We're already making our way through the pack. Oh, we're going wide right there. We have four cars in front of us. Let's see what we can do. There's a, oh yeah. We braked a little bit deep and now we're in this guy. Oh, but we just couldn't hold it. Oh, the spoiler came off. Oh, this pack is pretty close. This is a race right here. Carrying a lot of speed through turn one. Can we make a move on one of these guys going into the next set of corners? Oh yeah, we gotta run on that guy. All right, we gotta pass this guy, Lunar Phoenix. Uh, not if we do that though. Thanks for the speed boost though. Oh, so did that guy. Oh, we gotta put him in a mega lap. Oh man, this is gonna be a little bit close. Oh, that guy had a really good line through there. Uh, look how much we've cleared of third place though. Oh man, this is gonna be a good race, but I'm not gonna win it. This guy in the Nissan is just a little bit too quick for me. Oh, we can take that corner flat though. Nah, I tried, I tried. It was a little bit too greedy, but we're gonna take it home a deserved second place. Let's see, does it actually hold though? Yes, it does. All right, I'm cool with that. Let's move on to the next game. All right, I thought I'd go ahead and close up the benchmarks with a triple A game ported from the PlayStation, that being God of War. And uh, I kind of forgot how to run this actually. Let's see, what's the button that shoots arrows? There you go, it's X. Anyways, we are running the game at 1440p. Actually, I'll show you guys real quick. We're running the game at original graphics, 1440p but we have AMD FSR 2.0 turned on because even though we have an Intel Arch graphics card, you can use AMD FSR with any graphics card. And we have a set to balance. And now, let's see if we can get this goon. All right, get out of there, go, go, go. Easy, easy, game's running smooth. You can check out the frame times actually as well in the top left. Oh, nope, get out of there. We'll just keep hitting this guy from behind. And dodge, dodge. Oh yeah, we're making quick work on this guy. All right, let's finish this. And go for it, go for it, come on. Yes, there we go. And with that, let's go ahead and close out the video. Okay, now I think it's a good time to go ahead and wrap up my conclusions on this pre-built from ABS Computers, which once again, I don't know the name of. As far as the computer goes, I'm pretty satisfied with all the components. You have that i5-13600K to lean off of for any gaming or CPU intensive applications. Also, it's great to see that this is a motherboard that supports DDR5 memory. So you're already set up with the latest generation of DDR memory, which is good to see. And for a lot of the other components in this pre-built, I rate them actually pretty well. 
Like the power supply, for instance, is a really good pick. So is the PC case, and so is the AIO from EK Fluids, which is a very reputable water cooling brand. And of course, tie all of that together with the Intel Arc A750 Limited Edition, and this is a pretty special pre-built. So that's what I see on the surface, but I really can't draw any more conclusions further than that because once again, this is a brand new pre-built from ABS. I don't know the selling price of it. That'll really dictate how valuable this pre-built gaming PC is, but as far as a part-by-part -part basis goes, it's one that definitely doesn't skimp on a quality. Anyways, like I said, you have a chance of naming this new series of pre-built computers from ABS, which will have that linked in the description below, along with a giveaway for this exact pre-built gaming PC. I believe I'm entrusted to send out this computer to whoever wins it, so if that happens to be you, then great. And I think as far as this computer goes, we're gonna keep the giveaway just domestically to the United States because shipping on a computer internationally gets very expensive. Still though, anybody has a chance of naming this computer because ABS wants that from you guys. And once again, I wanna mention that Intel Gamer Days is coming up soon and there you can get some really awesome discounts on Intel powered components, gaming PCs, and even laptops. And every single one of those can come with a copy of Assassin's Creed Mirage or I believe one other game. So some pretty awesome things to be had and I think it's a pretty nice opportunity if you're looking at maybe shopping for something for the upcoming school year and you wanna hook yourself up with a nice computer or laptop. So once again, I wanna thank ABS Computers for sending out this pre-built and I wanna thank all of you guys who have continued watching the video up until this point. I know this is pretty freeform and more of an announcement video, but still, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. So with all that said, thank you so much for watching, and this is the Scatterville Channel, signing out.